everyone welcome to proud animator in this video we are going to animate this hourglass in after effects so let's start so right now we are inside of after effects and in this lesson we are going to use this illustration and here first of all we are going to apply set matte effect on these layers which are outside the boundary so we are going to select light sand above and sand below and come over here in effects and presets panel type in set matte and double click on it to apply the effect now we are going to change this one to the boundary which we are going to use it as a mat so here is the glass field which we are going to use and after that we are going to turn on the rasterize so select the layers and click over here and also make sure to turn on the rasterize of the fill effect as well which you have applied as a mat okay now i'm going to select this light and change the blending mode to overlay perfect so right now let's convert this sand above and sand below into shape layer for that select the layer right click on it go to create create shape from vector layer and right now we can delete the illustrator layers and let's rename it and just delete the outline portion from the name okay now we are going to add a stroke with the help of pen tool let's select the pen tool and i'm going to add a stroke over here and let's increase the stroke width perfect and let's rename this layer into sandfall perfect now we can change the position of the anchor point okay and we are going to give it rounded cap so select the layer and go to butter cap and click on rounded cap and if you don't have this plugin come over here under stroke and change this to rounded cap perfect now i'm going to pull it and put it above sand above and also i'm going to apply set matte effect for that we can come over here and copy this effect and select this layer and paste it perfect and even we can decrease the stroke width a bit perfect now let's animate the stroke so let's start with our animation so for that i'm going to open the path property of the stroke put a keyframe over here and after that i'm going to jump on to next 20 frames and i'm going to select the path and pull it and put it below at this particular position perfect and also i'm going to come over here and i'm going to pull it above a bit yeah at this particular position and let's select the keyframe and easy is it for that select the keyframes and press f9 okay let's check our animation let's turn off the sand below layer for now yeah it's looking pretty nice so now we are going to animate the path of sand above and sand below as well so i'm going to open the path property of each of these layers so after it hits the ground from this portion only i'm going to add a keyframe on the path of the sand above and i'm going to jump on to next 60 frames 
or let's jump on to another 60 frames. And I'm going to select the path and move the anchor point and scale it down. Okay, and also I'm going to move this this head of the sand fall and put it over here. Perfect. Less easy is the keyframe and let's check our animation. Yeah, it's looking pretty nice. Now I'm going to select the sand path and from this keyframe I'm going to jump on to next 15 frames and pull this head and pull it down perfect now I'm going to bring the layer end over here Okay, so let's bring this a bit, uh, one or two frames before. And I'm going to change this keyframe to linear keyframe. Perfect. Now, at this particular point, we are going to start editing the sand below. So I'm going to put a path over here and one over here. At this particular position, we are going to scale it down a bit. So let's scale it down. Let's easy is our keyframe and let's check the animation. So now we are going to apply an effect on these three sand layers. So for that select the layer and type in roughen edges. This one select the effect and double click on it to apply. Perfect. Now I'm going to change the scale to about 200 and increase the border to 10. Okay. Now I'm going to select one layer, for example, the sandfall layer, and put a keyframe on the evolution and then jump on to just a bit above around 1 minute or 45 seconds and uh, let's give it 100 let's check out now yeah it's looking like something is falling if we increase this a bit let's give it 120 yeah it's looking better so i'm going to select this evolution keyframes select the other two sand above sand below and paste it and let's check our animation now yeah this one looks even better but after the fall the movement should stop so after this everything settles down so after three frames, let's open the evolution of this one, put a keyframe over here and let's delete this keyframe. Perfect. Let's check our animation now. Uh, 
परफेक्ट ओके सो लाइक दिस यू कैन एनिमेट आवर क्लॉक इन आफ्टर इफेक्ट्स सो आई वुड हाईली रिकमेंड यू टू ट्राई इट ऑन योर ओन सो गो ट्राई ट्राई इट ऑन योर ओन एंड लेट मी नो इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट रिगार्डिंग द लेसन सो दैट इज इट फॉर दिस लेसन इफ यू लाइक इट देन मेक श्योर टू हिट द लाइक बटन इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट रिगार्डिंग द लेसन मेक श्योर टू कमेंट डाउन बिलो आई विल बी हैप्पी टू हेल्प यू आउट एंड If you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates until then goodbye